Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have my top favorite nude lipsticks for a tan skin tone. This is a video that you guys have requested so, so much, but I kept putting off doing it because I already did a video like this quite a few years back. I will link my original video in the description box below. Now, the reason I wanted to come on here and do an updated version is because A, you guys have requested it way too much, and B, because there are a lot of new lip products, a lot of new lip product formulas. I've definitely tried a lot more nude lipsticks and lip products to include in this video. So in today's video, I will be talking about a bunch of different formulas, not just lipsticks. I have some lip pencils or lip liners. I also have a lip gloss. Of course, I have your traditional lipsticks, and I'm also going to be talking about liquid lipsticks. I will be doing lip swatches of every single lip product and every single formula that I talk about in today's video, just for your guys' reference. I am of Indian skin tone. I have a true tan complexion. I'm a MAC NC45 in foundation, if that gives you guys any reference as to my actual skin complexion. I have very, very yellow or almost like orangey undertones to my skin. In my opinion, a nude lipstick is not necessarily something that blanks out your lips or just gives you a completely concealer mouth. But to me, a nude is a lipstick that works with any eye look, with any other face makeup, something that's not going to clash with any other colors or any clothing you're wearing, but it's something that will give a little bit of life to your face. It pulls your entire makeup look together. So that is what a nude lipstick is to me. So if you guys are of my complexion, I definitely think you guys will find my recommendations really helpful to find your perfect nude. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the picks. First off, we are going to talk about lip pencils. Now I do have three lip pencils to discuss with you. All three of these are MAC lip pencils. The reason I really wanted to stick to these three is because I feel like these three lip pencils can be used with any of the recommendations I talk about later on in the video. Any of the lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, or the gloss I'm going to mention. These are the three lip pencils I will always have in my collection. I take them traveling with me. If I were to lose these or if I were to finish them, I will 110% repurchase. First up, we have the lip pencil in the shade Whirl. And this one is definitely my most go-to nude or neutral toned lip pencil. It goes with pretty much every single nude lipstick that I love. And I even love this color just by itself, just all over my lips. It's amazing. Next up, we have the lip pencil in Soar. And this one you can see is slightly different from Whirl because it has a stronger pink tone to it. So I use this with any nude lipstick that has any type of pink undertones. And once again, even this color by itself looks amazing. And then finally, we have the lip pencil in Spice. And this one is a little bit darker than either of the other two and it has a little bit of a peachy tone to it and I found that peachy nude colors are very hit and miss on me. Sometimes the peachy nude just looks too washed out and too pale or it just looks a little off with my skin but Spice is a go-to lip liner. Now let's go ahead and discuss a lip gloss. Now I am not a big lip gloss girl but I did want to talk about this particular gloss because for any of you guys who love glosses I think this is probably one you want to look into. The one and only gloss I wanted to give a shout out to is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Angel Food Cake and I did want to give a little bit of a shout out to this gloss Gloss. just because I'm not a gloss person doesn't mean that this formula should be overlooked because if you do love glosses, definitely look into the NYX Butter Gloss formula. It's amazing and this color is that perfect my lips but better nude color. Now let's go ahead and discuss lipsticks. These are all a traditional 
typical lipstick formula. I have some that look matte on the lips. I have some that look shiny and I have some from a bunch of different price ranges. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start off with the most inexpensive nude lipstick that I love and then we will work our way up to the most expensive one. The first lipstick formula I want to discuss is the NYX matte lipsticks and you guys will definitely see by the time this video wraps up that I am a really big fan of NYX as being a very affordable, inexpensive brand that still has a really wide color selection. This matte lipstick line, it's just their traditional, typical, old school matte lipstick. These are so good and I think they are very, very underrated. The shade that I'm wearing right now is called Whipped Caviar and it is definitely a nude pink color and this is definitely a color I would pull in with my MAC Soar lip pencil. The next color we have is one of the Maybelline Loaded Bolds lipsticks. You guys probably already know I did do a full in-depth review and lip swatch video on this formula. I'll link it in the description box below if you haven't seen it but the shade I want to talk about in particular is called Mauve It and it is a really beautiful mauve pinky neutral color. It's still very very, very muted and I definitely think this would work with any eye look you want to pull it in with and this formula is pretty much unbeatable I could have honestly put pretty much all of the Maybelline lip formulas in here including but not limited to the creamy matte formula their lipstick line is killer and they have some amazing nudes including this one now the next formula I want to talk about is going to be surprise surprise one of these Katie cat matte lipsticks from the new CoverGirl collection. I know I did kind of bash these quite a bit in my previous faves and flops video, but that was specifically because it says that this is a matte formula and it isn't. I definitely view this more as a typical cream lipstick. I think the pigmentation is very nice. It feels really lightweight on the lips. And this color in particular is a gorgeous nude color, but do not purchase this if you want it to be matte because this is not a matte product. But this shade is called Couture Tricot Grivesse. This is just a joke of a name, I'm not gonna lie. Someone really wanted to hear me stumble over that. But it is a beautiful, true brownie nude with a slight pink base. The next color I wanna discuss is going to be a little bit of a stretch to really classify this as a true nude, but because it is still very like neutral in my opinion, you could pull it in with a variety of different eye looks. I still wanted to talk about it. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Hitchhike. Once again, I did a full review video on this formula. I will link it below. This is one of the Comfort Matte Finishes, and you guys know I love the Comfort Matte Finishes. It is a true matte finish, but it's such a comfortable, very creamy, slightly silicone-y formula. And this color in Hitchhike is what I would classify as a nude, but it is still a very kind of peach nude. This is just a very unique neutral color, which is why I wanted to discuss it. And I think it would look gorgeous on so many different skin tones. Moving into discussing the formula that was kind of the inspiration behind doing this video. This is the Too Faced Le Creme lipstick formula. This has been one of my favorite lipstick formulas of all time. I did talk about another one of the colors in this formula in my previous favorite nude lipsticks for Indian skin tones video, but this color in particular is called Sweet Maple. It is such a beautiful, true brown nude. It is so wearable. It's definitely a My Lips But Better color. It's just everything that's good about a lip product. I really couldn't rave about this La Creme formula enough, and this color in Sweet Maple is a dream. I love it. I'm sure most of you guys knew I couldn't finish talking about lipsticks without talking about this formula again. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick formula. I love this formula so much and the color in particular that I have on my lips that I really want to give a shout out to is called Chai. It is the perfect 
nude color for my skin tone. It does have a slight pink hint to it, but honestly, it is such a true nude. I could wear this with every single eye look. I don't think I've discussed this next formula on my channel at all, but I love it so much. This is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color, the one that comes in this beautiful gold packaging. This color in Soft Berry is gorgeous. It is the perfect, slightly pinky, neutral color. Of course, all of these are nudes. All of these are perfect in my opinion, but the formula on this is so creamy. It just glides on like melted butter. It even trumps the Maybelline lipstick or the Bite Beauty lipstick or even the Too Faced lipstick. This is just so creamy, so opaque. It's just it's gorgeous. Now that we finished up with lipsticks, let's go ahead and wrap up this video by discussing the liquid lipsticks. You guys know that liquid lipsticks are probably some of my favorite formulas ever. I have a whole bunch of different formulas to discuss. Some of them are longer wearing than others, and I have a lot of different price ranges. So once again, we will start off with the most inexpensive liquid lipstick that I love and move up into the most expensive option. Now I know this next formula may or may not be considered a liquid lipstick in your opinion, but I am just going to include it because it is technically a liquid and it is technically as opaque as a lipstick. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I know these have been around forever and this shade in Abu Dhabi is a beautiful, beautiful, true brown nude. It's not peach, it's not pink. It does go on kind of whipped and moussey and it does set to look matte, but it's not uncomfortable, it's not drying, but it also doesn't last forever. So if you eat or drink, it is going to transfer off, it is going to you know, go away, but it's really easy to reapply. So there are definitely pros and cons to this formula. The next formula I wanna discuss is another one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, and this is in the shade Dopey. And when I did do that original you know, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, video. I didn't have this shade because it sold out so quickly and now I really understand why. It is a perfect nude pink color even on a tan complexion. I would definitely bring in MAC Sore Lip Pencil with this shade just to slightly darken up and give a little bit more of a contour to the edges of my lips but I really really love this color and like I said these ultra satin lips killer formula. Absolutely beautiful. You guys knew that I had to discuss this formula while I was still talking about liquid lipsticks. My all-time favorite liquid lipstick formula, the Lonely Planet liquid lipsticks. This shade in Bambi is one of the three new nude colors that they released. I did swatches of all three of them on my Instagram if you guys are interested, but this shade in particular is beautiful. Again, a very traditional true brown nude, but this one does have a slight cool undertone to it. So it's quite a bit unique to any of the other shades I've showed in this entire video. The next formula I wanted to discuss is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Pasadena. I know that the packaging on this one is all like small and dinky. I think I got this in like a BoxyCharm or something, but now they come in like, you know, the long normal tubes. But this is a gorgeous neutral color. Once again, a very true mid-tone neutral brown, so wearable for tons of different skin tones, but it is like that perfect blank out my face, but still not make me look dead kind of a color. And then the final formula and color I want to talk about is one of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Once again, you guys know this is one of my favorite formulas. This is in the shade Patina. It is a gorgeous, true pink based nude. I always bring in my sore lip pencil whenever I use this because it is just such a beautiful, very wearable shade. The formula on this is like bulletproof. It is so, so good. Definitely the longest wearing formula that I've discussed today. 
and I love this color. I cannot rave about it enough. If you don't have patina in your life, go get it. Alrighty guys, so that wraps up all of my favorite nude or neutral lipsticks for a tan complexion. I hope this video was really helpful to you. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. It really, really helps out my video and my channel a lot. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys will be informed every time I upload a video, which is every single Monday and Thursday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next one on Monday. I will see you then. Bye. The end of the day, to be perfectly honest with you, these are lip liners. On the back of the tube, I really like the way L'Oreal is doing this now. They have this little grid that tells you the